also, last week we made a meme show, and the week before we also made a meme show, and the meme show has got over 100,000 views each. And a lot of our competitors came to us and said, you know, it's so irresponsible that you're covering memes on your station and that you're encouraging people to trade memes on your station. That's irresponsible. We don't see it that way. And that's because if we look at the tokens this year and we, we use banter bubbles and we filter the best performing tokens of the year, we can see clearly that the top three best performing tokens of the year are meme coins. So like it or not, meme coins are here to stay. And this week was just another example of how meme coins are taking over the cycle. A lot of people said last week that meme coins were dead. The market is correcting meme coins were dead. But then this week we had one pump, one meme coin raise over $280 million. We had Pundu raise $100 million. And we had the whole Slurf debacle, which sent a coin up to almost a billion dollar market cap. So meme coins ain't going away and we're going to cover them. And we're going to teach people how to make money in meme coins. And we're going to tell people what this is all about. And that's what this show is all about. So listen, if you are new to the channel and you don't know about these shows, subscribe to the channel. This is our second channel. It's called Banter Plus. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, smash the subscribe button now. Let's see. This is where the meme coin alpha, this is where the meme coin alpha and everything is. Remember, it's only on the, the, uh, the Banter Plus channel. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, smash the like button, obliterate, obliterate the like button. I've got a massive, massive, massive meme coin show for you guys here today. We've got some amazing, amazing, amazing guests for you guys. I guess what we need to do now is just get this show on the road. Look, it's not a joke. A lot of people phoned us last week and said, you are encouraging people to trade these memes and these memes are bad for crypto. I was like, guys, which part of this are you not getting? The meme coins are here to stay. The three best performing tokens last week were meme coins. You cannot tell me that meme coins are going away. I guess that some people just don't realize what meme coins actually are. And I think that this weekend I was on a Twitter spaces and I summarized a couple of things about what meme coins actually are. So if you don't know what meme coins are, meme coins are coins that pretty much claim to do nothing, but they are cultural coins. They're coins around cultural memes. And today people are trading these meme coins. Now, while some people think that this is destructive, the way I see it is we have created the world's biggest roulette. And what, as long as you understand that these meme coins aren't really investments, but they more trades, and you come to the meme coin casino with the, mind, with the mindset of trading these memes and having fun while doing it, then that's what meme coins are about. If you think that you're going to invest in meme coins, that's a very different story. Now, one or two meme coins may make it through to the next cycle. One or two meme coins are actually even building uh, utility. But that's not what the meme coin game is actually about. The meme coin game is the world's biggest culture casino. It's the world's biggest culture roulette. What you do is you place a bet on the, on the memes that you think are going to be the most relevant. And then what the idea is to put your money on those, on those memes and to exit as soon as other people come in. That is what the meme coin uh, betting is about. It's a fun worldwide game, global game that is played and played primarily on Solana. We're going to talk about that in a second. And today it's one of the biggest games and one of the biggest movements and one of the biggest money makers in the world. So like it or not, Meme coins are here to stay. And on this channel, we are going to cover meme coins for as long as this thing lasts. Now, now, I'll, I'm going to take it. I'm going to. Sh I, I take great offense when people say to us that you shouldn't be covering meme coins. I think it's. I think it's dumb. I think that by turning a blind eye to what is probably the biggest movement in the current uh, um, in the current uh, uh, market is is crazy. I think that if you come in responsibly and understand what this game is about and play the game responsibly, that's what it's about. We understand that. And we're going all in on meme coins. In fact, this week, we are actually going to show you guys how to launch a meme coin. We're going to do it by actually launching our own meme coin. We've got the domains already. And uh, look out. Watch, watch this space. We're going to launch our very own meme coin. We're going to just give it to the community. It's not. We're just going to show you guys how to do a meme coin. And we're going to give it to the community. How did us, before we, get it, before we go further, let us see some comments, man. Let, let, let's see what the guys are trading. I don't see any, any comments on, on the bottom of the screen. I want to see what the meme coins are all about. So got a massive, massive, massive show to you guys today, for you guys today. Remember, 
that all these bonus meme coin shows are happening only on Banter Plus. If you're not already subscribed to Banter Plus, now is an amazing time to, to, to start. Also, I want to remind you that these meme shows are actually sponsored. So we do have sponsors. I'll obviously mention the sponsors um, and tell you that there are sponsors. One of our sponsors, which I want to bring up today, is Andy. So Andy is really the only, only Andy that matters. He's a fun, goofy. He's friends with Pepe and, and Brett. Um, these guys are an amazing, amazing team. They are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, they did an airdrop to Saga phone holders. They, they are marketing geniuses. They got a partnership with Gotbit. Um, and I think, I think, I think this partnership is going to get very big. And I've got, they've got a whole lot of tier one exchange listings. So I'm going to bring on our guests and they're going to tell us what they think of all the memes. We've got the usual guests. Gustavo, welcome back, brother. Let's go. See you changing Memes people. to the moon. Memes to the moon. You've been changing people's lives this week. Even though people told us that memes were dead. You're still changing lives in meme coins uh, in our front runners Discord. I saw I actually popped in today and I watched the guys. I watched what's going on in the front runners Discord chat. It's been. Did you see? Did you see that guy that bought a diamond to, to uh, with uh, with the yes. meme gains? He bought a <laughs> diamond to his wife. I was like, "What? You guys are buying diamonds?" Tell the guys <laughs> the, the screenshot, but tell the guys what happened. So basically, we're doing very good, very well on uh, meme trading. My win rate right now is seventy five percent. And these are calls I only give on uh, front runners. Some of them are like super illiquid, so I don't even mention them publicly. But one guy made so much money, he bought a diamond. And I was like, what? He literally bought girlfriend. a diamond. He bought a diamond for his girlfriend. Uh, all right, we've got Eric back with us today. We've got uh, Henok with us. Henok's new to the fam, and you've got your pup with us. Guys, welcome to our sp our Sunday meme coin degen session. Uh, guys, remember here we talk about meme coins, big or small. Um, it's a filthy show. It's a dirty show. Uh, you know that when you're getting into these meme coins, some of them may be low liquidity meme coins. Um, you also know that in all probability, one or all of the guests are invested in these meme coins. So please don't think that we're not invested in the meme coins. Um, you got to do your own research. And remember, if you're playing with meme coins, it's risky. It's a game. It's not an investment. You're literally playing the game. Eric, welcome back, my friend. How are you? I'm blessed. And blessed highly and Thank you for having me. Eric, everyone told me meme coins were dead. Everyone told me meme coins were absolutely, absolutely dead last week. They said the market's correcting. The meme coins are going to be the first ones to correct. But then this week, I saw meme coin raises to the moon. I saw this big pump um, uh, meme coin raised over $280 million. I saw Pundu, also one of our sponsors, Pump and Dump, Pundu the, 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 uh, the, the, Pundu the Panda, um, $100 million. They're starting to refund Amazing. people. Uh, I saw Slurf. Slurf that made a mistake this week, and you, you saw what happened to Slurf. Went to a billion dollars. What do you say to people who say that meme coins died last week? I would say those people don't understand meme coins. Um, so the thing about meme coins is even when Bitcoin was down at 20,000, even when Ethereum was down to 900, people like everyone here on the stage, we were printing, we were making millions in the middle of a bear market. Things were doing you know, 100 X's. So meme coins never die because like you said, it's a fucking casino. And yeah. that said, you know, people always want to come to the casino. People always want to fucking gamble because everyone wants to change their life overnight. And so unlike Bitcoin, unlike Ethereum, unlike these quote unquote serious investments, meme coins never die. The casino is always 24 seven. It's so I want to just add that. I once read an article that says that in times of recession, and uh, also during COVID time, actually uh, gambling actually went up in times of recession because people go to gambling for the hope because, you know, in a recession, mm -hmm. you can't make as much money in your work. In a bear market, you can't make as much money in your investing. So what do you do? You try and make the money going to the casino. Uh, your pop, Henok, what do you think of my analogy saying that meme coins, 99.9% .9 of meme coins are not to be seen as investments. Um, it's a game. I call the game culture roulette. You try and predict what the what the future holds or where the ball's going to drop in the future. Place your chips before everybody else, and when everybody else arrives, claim your winnings and move on to the next thing. What do you think of that analogy? Your pup. Hey, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think you're totally right. At the end of the day, when we look at meme coins, if you look at previous cycles, this pre this last bull run in 2021, that's the first time we're seeing. Blue chip meme coins, top 10 cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin and Chib holding a place amongst the entire crypto industry where people thought these are just jokes. What is this? It's falsified. Elon Musk had lawsuits on him because of his Dogecoin shilling and backing. But I think at the end of the day, it's 
hey, yes, a lot of them are going to fail. 99% will fail, but 1% will change your life dramatically. There's a lot of potential. So that's so how I, I, I want to ask you a question. So uh, like uh, I was thinking of the use case for Doge. Doge has got a very high market cap. I don't remember the exact number, but call it like in a couple of billion. Um, and I was thinking, what's the use case for holding Doge? I don't feel that anyone is as connected to the Doge dog as they were back in the day. And I think that everyone, the Doge meme has actually become a meme around Elon adding Doge to Twitter. So I think that for me, the way I see Doge, Doge has become a bet around Elon adding a currency to Twitter. And I think that Doge has actually, to be honest, lost its meme coin status. Like, you know, when I used to think of Doge, I used to think of the cute dog. Now, all I think about when I think about Doge is I think about Elon and integration into Twitter. And I don't think at all about the dog. I mean, is it, Henok, what do you think of that? I mean, I couldn't agree with you more at this point. But honestly, like that's, that's, that's a really good use case, you know, if you compare that meme to others, right? Elon Musk is branded with Doge. That is absolutely insane. And to be honest, meme coins were really what got me in the door. I bought Bitcoin. It scared the mess out of me in 2017 because it was such a new asset class. I did no research. I sold all my Bitcoin paper handed, left the industry. Three and a half years later, I see Elon Musk getting on Saturday Night Live to talk about meme coins of all things. So for me, it's very simple. If Elon sees value in a meme coin, I'm going to at least look underneath the hood of the car and see if there's anything there. I never understand people that wholesale right off really anything in life. I think it's a very arrogant position. Could it be that there's something that Elon sees that maybe you don't see? And considering the guy is extremely successful and uh, has made a lot of money and, and done a lot in life, if he's seeing some value in something that maybe everyone else isn't seeing, I think it's worth at least considering that there's something going on that maybe you can't see. You never yeah. bet against Elon as well. Not yeah. only that, not, not, not only that, I want to just say something. So I remember when CryptoKitties was launched on, on Ethereum and it clogged the whole network and all the big, uh, all the big, uh, all the big guys came out and said, these, th uh, th these cats should never been allowed on the Ethereum chain. And it's all crazy. And why are you guys doing this? And there were a lot of people that were against NFTs. And they said, like, what the hell's going on? And Kitties cannot clog the biggest financial chain in the world. Next thing you know, Kitties becomes the blueprint for NFT technology. And today, NFT technology is the same, is becoming the biggest technology in the world. I don't think this is going to be very different. I'll tell you that. Because what I think is going to happen here is we are learning to bet on culture here with meme coins. This is, we, are, we are taking bets on culture. We are mm -hmm. teaching the world that you can take bets on culture the same way that fashion outlets take bets on culture. The same way we are learning to take bets on culture and to gauge bets on culture. And we shouldn't knock it down in the beginning because people don't like what's happening with meme coins. Although I, will, I do want to ask you guys one thing before we actually get on with the DJ part of it. So I saw some really bad memes this week. I saw this meme, Jews <laughs> did 9-11. I saw the memes around, uh, around niggas. Which which I didn't like very much. I saw Nigafolio. Yeah, I saw I saw I saw the Nazi memes. Where do we stand when it comes to to these offensive memes? How do we feel about the offensive memes? Gustavo, Eric, good, uh, keen to hear your views here. Um, I actually I never. Go ahead, Eric. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say. I mean, for me personally, I don't fuck with them. Um, it's not something that uh, that I even buy or something that I want to uh, highlight on my platform. I, I, yeah, so for me personally, I don't fuck with them, but I mean, I think that everyone's entitled to do what they want to do. Um, I believe in uh, the free market. So if other people want to buy them, you know, to each their own. But for me personally, I, I, I just don't fuck with them. Look, I saw Agreed. a lot of tweets. I saw a lot of tweets. Um, I saw a hell of a lot of tweets from people saying that, you know, this is disgusting and they should switch them off. But then uh, those are the same people that tell people that they want to get into blockchains because they don't want government censorship anymore and government control anymore. So I think if the rules of the game are that anyone can do anything at any, you know, and, and there's, there's freedom of speech and, and we're, we're in blockchain for that, you can't complain when you get something that you don't necessarily like. Now, a lot of these were, I'm Jewish and a lot of these were very anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic. But you know what? If we want to be in blockchain, for me, that's the rules of the game. Anyone have a different opinion? Not at all. Yeah, no, I'm actually no. with you, Ron. And same thing as Eric. Like, I personally won't mess with them, but I think at the end of the day, meme coins are self of are a form of self um, expression, right? And it just shows there are people out there that feel certain ways about certain groups, and they're expressing themselves through launching these projects 
and supporting them. So I know not everybody likes it. I personally won't ever invest in something like that, but it just shows you again, it's part of being in the free market. And you saw Solana developers come out and give their perspective too. They said it's a free market, but we don't support it. And I actually, I counter traded the racist stuff. I bought this Martin Luther King coin, got a 7X and there's people on the, the front runners discord that even made more money than me because they held it for a bit, a bit longer. But yeah, I didn't buy any of the racist coins, but I'm pro free speech. And I think censorship on blockchains makes no sense. Yeah, guys, Gustavo keeps talking about um, the the uh, front runners discord. Just so you know what that is. Frontrunners is our banter telegram, bent our banter um, Discord group. Frontrunners, it's very, it's limited and closed. But at, on the first of April, we are taking in more people. If you want to get in, there is a link over here. You can just sign up. You're not going to get in until we open new membership or unless someone leaves. But get yourself signed up. There's a link over here. All right, guys. There's let's so many people it. trying to get in. So many. Okay. I'm getting so many, so many messages. I know, I know, but we will we will let people on the on the first of April. All right, guys, let's DJ in a little bit, Eric. Uh, I know you always come with the alpha. This is the time where we're going to get dirty. Uh, what's your favorite? Your fa well, let's talk about your, some of your favorite meme coins uh, this week. What are you liking? Um, you know, some of my favorite meme coins this week are going to be some of the ones that I've mentioned earlier. You know, I love Brett. You know, Brett has held up very, very well uh, amidst all the you know pullback and the panic and the scare, uh, Brett was unfazed. Brett right now is still at 367 million. Um, so that's definitely gonna be one of the ones that I love. The narrative uh, is the sexiest yeah. ever. Let me interrupt you here that we are getting a massive uh, uh, base season now with lots of money flowing into the base blockchain. There seems to be a rotation from Solana into base uh, across all 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 markets. So DeFi, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, the, the the big the big winners when there's a big flow of money will obviously be the meme coins brett is the biggest meme coin on base base that's called it's actually called based brett or uh, uh, brett on base um i think normie is another one that that might that might win from that right yeah yes yes you know uh I, i'm not invested in normies but uh their community is seems to be very based no pun intended um i uh, they often are in my comments and and I'm seeing them over my timeline. So, you know, you have to respect what, what those what those guys are doing for sure. Did, did right, I'm going to see... I'm gonna hand it over did to you guys. guys. Gustavo, Gustavo, I want to hand it over. Okay, unless you want to talk okay, about okay. Brett. Or, you want to talk about Brett? No, or, or... no, no. I was going to say Brett is sitting at 300 million. And if you look at Andy, for example, on Solana, which is on the same universe, it's sitting at like 7 or 8 million. And Pepe is sitting at 3, bi 3 billion. So, I don't know. I think there's opportunity there. Uh, so Andy is one of our sponsors. As I said, he is. Uh, he, th th this is Andy. He is friends. He is friends with Pepe and Brett. Um, they did do an airdrop onto the Saga phone. Um, yeah, we love we love Andy. These guys are these guys are amazing. They got the partnership with Gotbit. Uh, as you said, it is an eight point three million market cap. So still still quite a low market cap. And if if this whole Andy Brett Pepe narrative starts to move then this one can be one that actually starts moving but i want to bring in some of the new the new kids i want to bring in your pup and i want to bring in henok uh, your pup talk to me about some of the, the meme coins that you like let's get let's get into it let's start degening let's get filthy <laughs> no for sure i mean just based off what you guys just said in terms of um brett andy pepe i kind of jumped into that narrative as well got into andy right around uh seven hundred fifty thousand dollar market cap and wrote it up it went to a 50 million all-time high took profits on the way up, as you always should, by the way. I'm a person that emphasizes taking profits. So, hey, it did retrace now, but I do see overall the that ecosystem of tokens on their different chains. And I think there's the Wolf on AVAX, of Avalanche's blockchain. Those are all going to do well overall. That's just my personal opinion. But I did take some pretty significant gambles this last week. So I got into Slurf at about $100 million market cap. Yeah. Okay. That was that's my big DGen play. We saw Justin Sun, right, founder of Huobi, one of the bigger crypto guys out there, um, polarizing individual. He was on the space and he kind of came and started speaking on the slurf space. I thought that was kind of cool. So I was like, you know what? I was on spaces for eight hours going in there, you know, made some YouTube content just for fun because I'm like, hey, this is a DGen play. And I think for a crypto narrative, a meme coin narrative, slurf has it's the perfect picture, in my opinion. You can't okay. so tell me why Slurf is such a perfect picture. I listened to that dev. Now I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> that dev doesn't sound smart. Like honestly, sounds like 
and and he's got a massive 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 following right exactly yeah so what is it that people love about it so much yeah i honestly i think that's literally it it's too much it's too it's a meme he made probably the most what could have been a fatal mistake right if people knew where he lived and where he was he could have been hurt badly because who burns 10 million dollars due to clicking on a solana and Sun like you just don't do that you don't do that ever but do you think that he became the meme do i think what oh huh do you think that he became the meme do you think that he actually that slurf was supposed to be the meme and then actually what happened was the dev became the meme the dev became the meme and i i totally agree but i think what's funny is people still think this is all part of it's a psyop like this is all part of the act he did everything intentionally knowing exchanges were gonna do what they're doing raising funds for all the pre-sailers to make them whole it just ended up becoming the most viral story in crypto for the last few days obviously the market took a turn it kind of did a retreat it did retrace but i'm call me crazy but i decided to double down multiple times on my slurf position I went short. I made money on my short, to be honest. I just <laughs> Congrats. So it like a billion dollars. I was like, come on, or like almost a billion dollars. I was like, listen, you got to be kidding, fucking kidding me. The guy's like the dumbest guy I've ever heard in my life. Built, burnt the old tokens. I mean, and I, 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 I look, he's a very nice guy, but I think he became the meme. And I, I think that part of the things for me about memes is that you don't know who they are, that they, they exist in a make believe world. And at the minute that, the minute I heard him speak, it, it ruined the whole. You know, hey, look, for me, it ruined the whole Slurf meme, but it created the Slurf developer meme. Um, you know, it's like the developer meme is like, you're so dumb, we're actually going to put our money behind you because we all know that at some point we're really dumb. Um, so that, that was one of the ones. Hey, Nock, I want to hear one from you. I want to hear one from you. So we've heard from, oh. from Pop, Pop. Pop gave me a, a Slurf. Tell me one of your degen. I, I want to feel filthy here, bro. I don't feel filthy. Yeah, you're, you don't feel filthy because you, you need multiple. Let me give you four. I'll be quick. Number one. Bro, Andy on Soul. The project's only okay. at an $8 million yeah, market cap. Yeah, we spoke about it. Been, yeah, it's yeah, Andy... been consistent. I love the branding. It's inside of the OG 4chan memes meta, and uh, I'm bullish on it. So that's number one. Uh, yeah. Number two, Brett on base. Bro, base is, I'm like, you guys, these people cannot yeah, fade what's happening on base. Don't fade base <laughs> and what's happening with Brett. Uh, number three, Moo Moo on Solana Moo inside Moo. of the OG yeah, okay, well, memes. Slow down, slow down. So Moo Moo is another one of our sponsors today. Moo Moo on Solana Moo. here. This is actually a movement to unite the people or everyone in crypto. This is like basically what, what Moo Moo actually uh, built. I love the fact that they say they backed by number go up technology. So, I mean, <laughs> they, they're backed by the number go up algorithm. They partnered with SubX. They partnered with Hey Wallet. Um, they also they also have a, a, um, a validator that Anatoly, a, a sole validator yeah. that Anatoly actually retweeted. Um, yeah, don't sleep, don't sleep on Mumu. Anybody else like Mumu? I love Mumu. Yes. That, that's uh, one of my favorite plays right now. Have a very big position in that one and uh, very bullish on it. No pun intended. Why? Why? What do you? What do you like so much about Mumu, bro? I just love that fucking meme. Uh, you know, it's a bull market, or at least you know that's what the general consensus is. And what better than a fucking bull meme? And the the history behind that meme is it's fucking rich. It goes back a long, long time ago, and uh, everyone knows it. You know, it's a, it's just a sexy meme. It's a great fucking meme. Let me ask you another one. I saw I saw one which re like a re it's not one of our sponsors at all, but one that I really really liked. Uh, I'm a big fan of Phantom, and I'm also, you know, the whole goat meme is is huge. What, what do you think of goat on Phantom? <laughs> That's crazy. I actually, uh, I don't know. I feel like people have been shilling me this goat thing. I didn't realize it was on Phantom, but goats are fucking goaded. So, I mean, I think that that shit, that shit looks dope. I like it. I yeah, like I, it. I must say, I think also there's a, there's a big, you know, we said there's a base narrative coming up and there's a Phantom narrative coming up. And I think, you know, if you've if you got a base narrative, then base, you know, you got to bet, bet the base coins. Goat, Goat's got a 31.9 million market cap, $611,000 um, $611, in liquidity, trading at about $1.12 at the moment. Yeah, I think a phantom meme uh, is, is something that you have to invest in. I read this and he said, uh, every chain has a premier meme coin. We all know Wolf on Soul, Pepe on ETH, Cock on AVAX, Toshi on base. Mantle has Puff. Phantom, as I'm now adding, has Goat. Linear is Foxy and Scroll is Panda. Um, I mean, you know, I think I think we are getting to the point where every 
chain must have a meme. And I think that one of the bets you can take is as soon as the chain launches, take a bet on the meme, right? Absolutely. It's like, yeah. it's like leverage. It's like having leverage on the, the main chain. Yeah, Gustavo. I could agree with you more. Yeah, and also too, guys, the, I would be, be mindful of this. There's a lot of rumors behind the scenes that founders of blockchains are leveraging meme coins for onboarding onto chains. So like, for instance, watch what's happening with base, right? Toshi did its thing. Brett flipped it. It's the number one on meme uh, on base chain right now. There's another competitor rising too. Pay attention to what's happening with Roost. They're launching this week. They raised $10 million. So you're seeing a fight for supremacy on base. And I think that I wouldn't be surprised to hear that founders or some of the biggest names connected to these chains are leveraging meme coins for onboarding. Yeah, well, you look know, at that's going to bring me. Sorry, Gustavo. This that actually brings me to one that I that I. It, it is another one of our general sponsors, but I think it's worth mentioning. So, everyone said that Dot Polkadot the network was dead, right? That was like it became a meme before any kind of coin. That Dot the network was actually dead. They had, you know, it's Gavin Wood. Gavin Wood, one of the smartest developers in the world. He wrote the Ethereum yellow paper. Um, and, you know, I think that they made some mistakes in the past in terms of the structure of the dot network. And everyone kept saying dot is dead. Then what I realized is that they actually launched a meme coin called dot is dead. And if you held, if you held <laughs> dot, then they gave you dot, they gave you a, a dot is dead. That snapshot was actually taken. But so, so now you have this dot is dead meme coin. And they're using it to bring people back to Dot, which I think is is genius. It's exactly what you said. It's founders are using or leveraging meme coins to get people onto their chain. Absolutely genius. Dot's doing it right now. They've done it. So, I mean, I, I think that that you've got to do it. Question: What's the biggest? What's going to be the biggest meme coin on Sui? Because I, I'm not invested in any Sui meme coins, and I'm not invested in any meme coins on Aptos. But I do think that there's a big movement of money for, to Sui and Aptos. Anyone have any? meme coin ideas on sui or aptos not really <laughs> yeah uh, not really but maybe fud the pug because i yeah, think it was one of the first ones yeah 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 i have all no right. exposure to either of those chains all right well you uh, mark my words that you should because it's gonna happen we should mark my, yeah it's gonna happen it's gonna happen. it's gonna happen uh all right let's go uh i need some more dj and picks from you your pop it's it's, it's back to you uh, eric i'm coming to you and gustavo you're next after that Man, that's tough. But as as Henock said, I'm actually I'm personally someone who can. So I haven't done any pre-sales. I haven't contributed to any pre-sales until mm -hmm. I put in a few ETH into this one that's launching Tuesday. It's called Roost on Base, and they raised like 12.5 million, biggest pre-sale on Base. And I don't know, man. It's very filthy. It's very degen. But I think if they play it right, it could do well. So we'll see. Okay. So Roost on Base, one to look forward to. Gustavo, what are you what are you thinking? Give me give me what's in Gustavo's head. So I'm doing I'm taking a big position on Mog on Ethereum right now. I tell think it's the best. Love, yeah, tell me why you love Mog so much. You've been talking about it the whole week at the office. I think it's the best cult in all of crypto right now. I I've been a Mog holder for like nine months, but right now I'm taking like a big Mog position because I think you should never bet against cults. And here's a cool thing: a friend of mine in Brazil started posting about Mog, about looks maxing, which is uh, which is basically when you when you look fit and uh, you look aesthetically pleasing. And these are people that have no idea what crypto is and they're posting about Mog. So it's permeating literally pop culture. So I'm taking a big, big position on Mog and um, that's the meme coin I'm probably the most bullish. Is this the Mog, right is this the mug that you're talking about? 8.79? Yes. Uh, liquidity market cap is 323 million that, yes. that's the one okay yeah. so, so guys what do we think of mug uh henok um um uh, eric your pop what do we think of mug mug is sexy um i actually have uh owned some mug as well uh and uh you know as someone who invested in harry potter obama sonic 10 inu uh which is the father of that meta which we call the autistic meta um yeah mug was you know, one of those ones that that stood out to me that, you know, like he said, it's a cult. You can't bet, it, bet against a cult. And they actually flipped Harry Potter, Obama, Sonnington, Inu, uh, which I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, very impressed by, you know, what they've done. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think Mog's a sexy one that could do very well. Okay, but Gustavo, I'm, I'm, thank you for giving me a call. That call has a $323 million market cap. 
I'm looking yes. for something a little a more DJ. Okay, I, I'll give you what I think is the Solana Mog. It's called Tren. T R E N. It's literally yeah. tokenized steroids. Think of the Slurf guy, same IQ, but instead of being just a dumb guy with the uh, you know no testosterone, uh, it's literally like a gym rat that uh, that injects testosterone and uh, has roid rage. I mean, it's all guys with abs. You can't even be on the team if you if you're not like uh, if you don't look like that. Uh, so low IQ, uh, gym rats, gym bros. It's the first <laughs> time I've seen uh, anything like this. It's literally tokenized steroids. <laughs> and, yeah, it's they're gonna pin everyone. It's super. It's one of the best communities on Solana. Market cap four million dollars. I mean, as you started talking about it, it actually started to pump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Very 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 cool. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about, man. That's the kind of shit uh, I'm talking <laughs> nice. about. Here we go. The DJs are pumping it up. <laughs> oh my God. Do what, you need to do. do what you need to do. Remember, as long as you know that this is a fucking casino and that, that yeah. is, you know, no, no, but, but yeah, yeah. But, but uh, on this one, I'm actually like super bullish. Now, a lot of these other ones, I, I do trades, but on this one, I'm actually like super bullish. I've, I've also been taking positions on all the cats as well. Yes. You, you said the cat narrative was going to kill the dog narrative. So. The, my Solana wallet is is looking very good on all the cats because they're bouncing right now. Okay, cool. What else? Okay, what else is there? What else? Is there? I took a position this week in BlackRock. I don't know if you guys saw, you, you guys know or saw BlackRock. I took a position just because I just think that BlackRock is becoming such a meme in the in the crypto community. Uh, it is. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure I show you guys the right chart. It's a uh, it's it's the one with the with the pink Larry Larry. Uh, I don't think it's this one. Um, anyone, anyone seen the meme, the BlackRock meme, the Larry, Larry Fink meme? I feel like I might have, it, it might have came across my radar for a second, but I'm not, I'm not sure without seeing the, the art. All right, go, okay, go ahead, Gustavo. One more from you, bro. Uh, okay, so I think right now one of the best cats to buy on Solana is a cat, Apple cat. It's literally a cat inside of an apple. It's super. <laughs> ridiculous it's literally like absurd and i've taken a position on a cat um i think right now is my biggest uh cat bag on solana and i've been buying all the other cats vibing cat um benji all the other cats i've mentioned i'm i increased my positions okay is this the one a cat on solana yeah. 1.2 yeah. million A-Cat, all right amazing um um all right, so I see we lost Pop. I'm sure he'll come back. Uh, Henok, b- back to you, bro. Um, yeah. I'm looking for, for a little bit of a D-Gen, a D-Gen one. I mean, let me give you one that I... I <laughs> it's kind of funny. So we have Pepe the Frog, right? The Frog meta, which over the last year has been really played out. There was a uh, token called Kermit on Solana that me and Eric okay. uh, have been a part of. So it's, 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 it's ticker Kermit. Go to Eric Stevens' uh, Twitter search the ticker kermit k-e-r-m-i-t the narrative is like yo we've been talking about frogs all year how about the muppets the frog of our youth for a meta so i absolutely love that project and love what i'm seeing on solana so it's this is it this one with 6.2 million market cap two hundred eighty-four thousand dollars in liquidity i've got let me see ending in 6nxm for the ca contract edition. i think that's the one that's the one six six yeah i think yeah that's and that's the, the one that's yeah. it that's it Pay Kermit the Frog. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're gonna make Kermit, you should make Miss Piggy also. I mean, you can't just do you can't just do Kermit and not have a Miss Piggy. I mean, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do Kermit the Frog, if you're gonna go if you're gonna go with the Muppets, go with all the fucking Muppets. Uh, I want to bring one up. I want to bring one up for you guys. The one that launched this week or is launching. Hold on, is launching this week. Uh, Pundu. Oh, so that's Pundu, great. Yeah. So Pundu raised a hundred million dollars wow. uh, in a, in a fair launch sale. They, they're starting to refund people. Uh, Absolutely he's the panda. Man. I mean, for those of you who don't know, Pundu stands for pump and dump. That's what it stands for. That's what Pundu actually is. And what it is, it is the it is a, a panda that is supposed to represent all the stupid things that we do in crypto, like pump and dump, like like throw money at pre-sales and stuff like that. He's a lazy, lazy, crazy bear. Um I think that, I mean I think this is going to be one of the most successful. I've also got a a, a Gotbit partnership and a Gotbit airdrop. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of Pundu? I I like Pundu, and I was surprised because the presale met. I was telling everyone, do not invest, do not buy into presales. 
until I saw Dowmaker do Pundu, because I really like Dowmaker. There's other stuff they, they put out that's very interesting. So I was surprised, and it gives confidence to, to every single like meme coin speculator to invest in pre-sales in a certain way. The fact that they raised a hundred million, that's also that's crazy. Like meme coins are not going anywhere. Insane. 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 <laughs> Eric, up to you. over to you, bro. We want some filthy degen calls. Yes, yes. You know, I got some filthy degen shit for you guys. Um, you know, and I'm going to start out. I'm going to go from higher to lower. Uh, normally, what happens when you see these new chains pop off, like we're seeing with base, obviously it's been around for a while. But when I say new, I mean like, you know, where all the hype has, has been at recently. People like to take coins that have been successful on other chains and just basically do the same shit, <laughs> but just like call it something, something base. So we'll start out with um, Boge, which is based Doge. $15 million market cap, I believe, base Doge. Um, and then also based SHIB, which is B SHIB next. Um, that one's at a lower market cap. So base Doge, base ship, the, the thesis is that it's moving the existing meme coins onto other chains. They're fair enough. Although you could yeah. say Pepe on Solana, which uh, Poe usually speaks about, Pepe on Solana wasn't as successful at all as Pepe on ETH. In fact, people don't really like Pepe. I won't say they don't like it, but it just it, it, it hasn't caught on, right? Yeah, you know, to, to replicate the success of Pepe on ETH, I mean, that's a tall task. That's a tough one. Um, but like you said at the, be the beginning of the show, as you said throughout the show, um, you know, when you're buying meme coins, you know, most of the times it's more of a, a short term trade rather than like yeah. a long term investment. So um, when things go to, you know, I think Pepe on Solana went to like 30 million or something, yeah. that's relatively successful. And yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, unfortunately, not all things go to hundreds of millions. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. I, I have uh, an even lower market cap on base chain. PBB. It's uh, Pepe P but blue. PBB. 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 Okay. So Pepe but blue. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> blue Pepe. <laughs> I've been in market cap, 181 liquidity. To, uh... <laughs> That's the weirdest chart. Yeah, weirdest that's chart. A very weird chart. I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what? That's the one minute chart. Hold on. I don't know why my default <laughs> setting is the one minute chart. Like, there we go. That's a better chart. Oh, okay. That, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There's an hour. It's a what? It's a daily. There we go. That that, that gives us a, a much better view. Uh, okay, your pop. I see you're back. We want to degen a little bit. What are you thinking? Um, one that recently launched that I actually personally got into. I don't even know if we need to put that disclaimer. We assume we're all degens here, but oh, it's yeah. actually Panda. They're just tired of Radium's swap because Radium sucks, and most people are using Bonkbot and other TG bots. But Panda launched, and they're holding up nicely for a meme coin. I think they're doing pretty well, like six it's mil market Panda cap. Swap? Panda swap? Yeah, is that talking about six mil market cap? Yeah, it's one that I got into, and you know they're 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 working, and it's 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 funny because the team. They don't usually they they don't have influencer tokens or like marketing tokens. So I started posting about it on my page, and they're like, "Wait, what are you doing? Who is this? Why is he doing this?" And I'm like, "I like the fact that you guys want to flip radium. It's a cool uh, concept, and it's also a meme coin." So, okay, so I want to ask you a question. Um, when a meme coin starts to have use cases and functionality, is this still a meme coin? Like, you know, like Sheep Sheep was a meme coin, but I don't see Sheep as a meme coin anymore. Sheep's a layer one, a layer two. So when a meme coin actually starts to introduce like real functionality, then it's not really part of the meme coin casino anymore. Or am I wrong? I don't know about that. Shib is, you know, Shib and Doge. Like for instance, I was at my son's uh, party for my for his friend. He's uh, six, and uh, there was a lady there, a realtor and an insurance guy. And I was like, yeah, I'm in crypto, particularly meme coins. I've made meme coins my profession. And they're like, oh, yeah, I've got meme coins, SHIB and Doge. So in the eyes of the general public, it's still a meme coin at the end of the day. They don't know about Shibarium. They don't know about all that. So I would still say that branding-wise, these coins are still branded as meme coins. Guys, remember, if you're, not subscribed, if you're not subscribed to Banter Plus, subscribe to Banter Plus. This is where the meme coin action happens. Also, this is where this week we are launching our very own meme coin. I'm not telling you what it is. But it's fucking exciting. We're launching our very own meme coin. We're not doing it to make money. We're actually going to give all the tokens to the community. Um, we're going to keep a small budget just for marketing, just to keep to get it out there. But the rest, you know, it's all for you guys. 
the reason why we're doing it is we want to teach you guys how to launch a meme coin because we think it's a skill that you need to have in the new economy is how to actually launch a meme coin and all the traps. So yeah, we are doing it this week. That's going to be on Banter Plus. So subscribe to Banter Plus. Gustavo, you're going to say something? I think it's bearish. I don't like utility. I think meme coins should should stay as like a pure gambling and culture type bet. As soon as they start adding utility, I mean, it's it's time to sell. That's my okay, opinion. Cool. Okay, so let me ask you. So Floki, another one of our sponsors, um, started off as a meme coin. Certainly not a meme coin anymore. They've actually been working the whole time on on building utility throughout the bear market. It's, you know, uh, it's also one of the best performing meme coins actually yeah. out there. I want to actually just take you through to... It did uh, 700% recently. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, I mean, they, they are one of them. Um, they, they, you see that they've been partnering with, like, they've been sponsoring things and partnering things. They've got a game, and the game is called uh, Valhalla. I'll show you. But I want to put this down with a of copyright stuff. I mean, so I don't know. Do you still call Floki a meme coin with the game? Of course, no. But but I mean, Floki and Ship. They, these are Goliaths in the meme coin game. So they have to keep reinventing themselves and do stuff. So I mean, the game looks awesome. I think gaming and gambling are two of the biggest utilities in crypto. So yeah, I okay. I just I just I just think like if if your meme coin is doing utility, then you know, early participants are probably already rich and they are probably taking profits. Okay, fair enough. Anyone else have any thoughts on uh, Floki? Mm. It was one oh, that one, I personally hated, I will say. One of I the think. most insane communities oh, ever. On. Yeah, well, uh, Pop, you were saying you're one that you used to hate at, at some point. Yeah, because yeah. I was a ship max all 2021 and Floki comes around, I'm like... Yeah. Dang, they're pulling their rotators, right? It's part of the market. And they, you just see rotations. People leaving SHIB. OGs and SHIB are now in Floki. But I don't know, man. Got to love the fact that they adopted. And I mean, excuse me, they grinded, adapted in the market. Uh, they're grinded, killing it. Killing it. They fucking grinded and grinded and grinded right through the bear market. All right, let's go back to you guys. I'm going to ask you for one one more degen, filthy. I want to go have a shower after this. And right okay. now, I don't feel that dirty. So... I'm going to ask you all for one more filthy, filthy, dirty, dirty. I need to go shower. I got one. Coin. Okay, I got one so dirty. I got one so dirty. Next, your next and okay. Uh, all right, go so for it. You, so you guys know Do Kwan just left prison, right? Queen. You, you're just telling left. me about Queen. Queen. Do Queen. Yes. Queen. Check the website. Check the memes. It's so funny. But this is super low market cap. But it's so funny. $329,000 market cap. That's the website. This yeah. is, I mean, it's a dope one just got out of, I mean, it takes, oh my goodness. What is it? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is, I mean, queen. She's so a queen. Good. This is so good. <laughs> Whoa. Wait until Doc, wait until Doc one starts tweeting. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Listen, it's DJ is it's DJ is fuck. I mean, you're talking about three hundred and forty-five thousand dollar market cap. That is absolutely crazy. Eric, <laughs> your call, bro. All right. I'm a, I'm gonna go uh, to the Ethereum chains. Show the Ethereum chain some love. This is filthy as fuck. Uh, Donald Trump Inu DTI. <laughs> it has like one hundred seventy-three thousand dollar market cap. Donald Trump Inu. Okay. Tell me why you like Donald Trump Inu. Um, I've been seeing it for a while, you know, I think, uh, with the whole polyfy meta, uh, this is one that really didn't get the attention that I feel it really deserved. Um, this actually launched before Trump, 
Um, it's a it's an old meme coin, and uh, yeah, I think the meme is as good. And you know, some people have been talking about it to me, and so I thought, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give it some love. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go to um, who was that? So Eric. Well, sorry, was that who was that? Was that Eric who gave us that? Who gave us that? I'm yeah, sorry, Eric. Yeah. Uh, all right, Pop, your call, bro. Your filthy right. vegan, I need to go shower meme coin. What is it? All right. I will have to go with Solana, and it's uh, Spooky. So Spooky is just literally the – It's you guys know Phantom, Phantom Wallet. They decided yeah, to yeah. kind of give them it their own meme coin, and Phantom has been interacting with them on Twitter, responding to comments, liking. So I'm like, they have some some space here, but, you know, it's it's sub 1 million. So this is Degen. Legion as fuck. All right, cool. Uh, Hanok, yours. You know, you guys are going lower and lower on the market cap. Let me give you one that hasn't hasn't launched again. You're, a week from today, you will be talking about Roost that launches on Tuesday. A DGen not only gets in on launch day, they are preparing days in advance when they know a hype launch is coming. So they don't even have a TG. There's a bunch of fake coins out there. The only one, the only way to really like interface with this project is their Twitter at Roost coin so be very careful you can go to my page and find it on twitter but uh, this one is going to be a token you will be talking about on your next show i promise you the twitter is at roost coin that's the one over here at roost coin is it roost on base or yeah yeah at- yeah, yeah yeah so at roost coin so just at roost coin so you're gonna see that that's the one there you will be i'm telling you right now you will be talking about these guys they're launching on tuesday and again dgens we get the we get the word early. We get in. You know, we're in the trenches, and uh, we're preparing for for launch. So yeah, I'm telling. Look, look at these memes, man. Look at that. Oh, the community wow, that is, is insane. Good, that is too good. That Just is wait, bro. too Just good, wait. bro. That uh, no, these guys are good. The artwork is good. These guys are very, very, very good. These guys I'm, are very, very good. I'm All right, sorry, I want to ask, <laughs> ask you about a higher. I want one of our sponsors. I want to ask you about a higher meme coin, a higher um, uh, market cap meme coin. Uh, you probably all know this one. Uh, it's Kogi Kogi AI. AI. So um, it is. It, it was originally developed on the Kronos chain. It's a Kronos chain. It's a billion dollar meme. When they got to a billion dollars, they burned six hundred ninety million dollars worth of their tokens. They're also part of this um, uh, Kronos Arcade, which allows you to like create um, uh, meme coins very, very, very quickly. Billion dollar meme coin, as I said, very, very big, very, very smart team. Obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you, have you guys any views about it? It's simple. It's a dog, and it says AI. It's gonna pump. Okay, it has pumped yeah. almost a billion dollar uh, thing. They also did an AI generated um, NFT collection. Saw that in thirty minutes this week, guys. Th- saw that in thirty minutes. I don't know if you guys saw that. Question is, I mean, do you, can you still buy a meme coin when it's got a billion dollar market cap, or is that too scary? Uh. Yeah, you know, typically, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if I'm finding out about it at one billion, mm, probably not buying it. Probably fading it, to be yeah. honest. But I mean, it does keep does keep going up and up and up. Yes. Uh, would you be buying it, Gustavo? Y- yes, because the community is great. It's all about community. If the community is there, and they're nonstop shilling and talking about it and creating culture around it, it can go so much higher. Like, it just there's no there's no ceiling for these memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, listen, let's leave it at that today. I think that we've had a great show. We've spoken about, I mean, I need to go home and shower now. now it's, time, it's time to go home and shower. So I want to thank you all, Eric, Gustavo, Henock. Thank you, guys. You guys have been amazing. Your pup, you've been amazing. I kind of missed Poe, but I guess Poe will be with us again uh, next time when we do this, next week when we do this. Uh, someone's saying about Goat. We did speak about Goat. Goat is the, is the phantom meme. We, we love Goat. We love phantom, and I think it's going to be a phantom season. Uh, as I said, I think there's an, a, 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 narr- a rotation narrative into base, Phantom and Aptos and Sui. And I think you need to and get dot. Meme, and dot and you need to get meme coins on, on, on those networks. I will see you guys again all uh, next week. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much love. Much love. Much love. So you guys, the Banter fan, remember if you're not already subscribed to Banter Plus, last chance to subscribe to Banter Plus. If you do, you will stand in, ch- in line t- to win the banter bags. You can see the banter bags are getting pretty full of tokens. And uh, we're going to give that away to the community. I think we've already given it away to four people. We're going to get six more, something like that. Uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow. We've got a normal, regular programming tomorrow. Until then, trade well, my friends. <laughs>